A soft drizzle blanketed the bustling city as Maya Evans tightened her grip on her umbrella, trying to shield herself from the rain. The world around her blurred, reflecting her weariness after a long day of job interviews. She'd left her last interview feeling hopeful but exhausted, counting the minutes until she could finally reach her small apartment where she could unwind and set aside the worries of the day. As she waited at the bus stop, her eyes darted nervously at the approaching bus. She shuffled forward, exhaling with relief as the bus pulled to a stop. The few people in line ahead of her quickly boarded, leaving her next to step up. She could already feel the warmth and comfort awaiting inside, where she could escape the cold, rainy streets. Just as Maya was about to step on, the bus driver's hand shot up in a stopping gesture. His eyes skimmed over her in a way that made her instantly feel out of place. Bus is full, he said with a sharp edge in his tone. Maya's brows knit in confusion, glancing at the rows of seats with more than enough space to fit a few additional passengers. But there are empty seats, she murmured, her voice quiet yet insistent, hoping maybe he'd reconsider. The driver's gaze hardened his indifferent expression shifting to something that felt more sinister. I said we're full, he repeated, this time louder, as if the clarity would make his intent clearer. Maya's stomach dropped, her voice caught in her throat. As the rain grew heavier, she felt the sting of humiliation creep over her, and a surge of frustration rose. She felt the eyes of strangers on her, some averting their gaze, others whispering amongst themselves. But no one spoke up. No one challenged him. She was alone in this sea of passers-by. Slowly she stepped back, clenching her fists to steady her trembling hands as the bus doors closed and the driver pulled away, leaving her stranded on the rain-soaked curb. Tears pricked her eyes, mingling with the rain that now ran down her face. She tried to keep her expression neutral to maintain whatever shred of dignity she had left, but the hurt was undeniable. Hey! a voice called out, pulling her from her thoughts. She turned, blinking through the rain, and saw a man standing a few steps away. He was dressed in a light trench coat, damp from the rain, his face framed by tousled blonde hair. His expression held a mix of concern and shock as he glanced between Maya and the emptying street. I saw what happened. Are you okay? he asked gently. Maya swallowed, embarrassed, and wiped at her face, half-heartedly pretending she was merely brushing away raindrops and not tears. Yeah, she replied, voice tight. I'm fine. The man took a hesitant step forward. Look, I know you don't know me, he started, hands raised in a show of harmlessness. But I'd be happy to give you a ride if you're comfortable with it. I don't want to intrude, but it's not right what just happened, and I... Well, I just hate to see anyone left out in the rain like this. Maya studied him, her instinct to say no thank you, on the tip of her tongue. But something about his open expression the genuine concern in his eyes, made her hesitate. She'd seen him watch the entire incident unfold, and he hadn't turned away like the others. His offer felt sincere, without a hint of ulterior motive. She nodded, cautiously. Thank you. That's really kind of you. The man's face softened with relief, and he led her to his car, a modest sedan parked along the curb. He opened the passenger door for her, then moved around to the driver's side, careful to give her enough space to feel comfortable. Once they were both settled, he glanced over, as if to double-check that she was truly okay. I'm Daniel, by the way, Daniel Hayes, he introduced himself, extending a hand with a slight, reassuring smile. Maya Evans, she replied, managing a small smile in return as she took his hand briefly. The warmth of his handshake was unexpected but grounding. As they pulled onto the road, silence settled between them, not uncomfortable but thick with unspoken words. Maya gazed out the window, watching the raindrops race down the glass as they passed through the city streets. She replayed the incident in her mind, her earlier hurt mixing with relief at Daniel's kindness. After a few minutes, Daniel broke the silence, his voice soft yet firm. I know I'm a stranger, but if you ever need someone to back you up when stuff like that happens, you can count on me, I mean it. Maya glanced over, surprised by the intensity in his words. She noticed the small furrow in his brow, the way he gripped the steering wheel slightly tighter, as if he were holding back his own frustration on her behalf. For the first time in a long while she felt a spark of hope. Someone cared, even if he was a stranger. Thank you, she murmured, 
her voice barely above a whisper. You didn't have to stop, but I'm, I'm glad you did. Daniel offered a reassuring smile. Well, I didn't really have a choice. I've got this thing where I can't just stand by and watch injustice happen without doing something. He chuckled softly, a gentle attempt to lighten the mood. Guess it's a bit of a flaw. A soft laugh escaped her, and she relaxed a little, sensing the sincerity in his tone. For the first time since the bus incident, she felt her shoulders loosen, the tension slipping away under his gentle gaze. They continued driving in quiet conversation, with Daniel guiding the discussion in a way that kept Maya's comfort in mind. He shared little pieces of his life, a bit about his family, his job in the non-profit sector, his love for helping others. His genuine kindness radiated through his words, and Maya found herself speaking about her own life, the long search for steady work, and the barriers she often encountered. There are days, she admitted quietly, where it feels like no matter how hard I try, there's always something pushing me back, like I'm constantly swimming against the tide. Daniel nodded, his expression thoughtful. I can't say I understand it fully, but I see it, Maya. I see what people go through, and I can't imagine how hard it must be. But you know what? From what I've seen today, you've got a lot more strength than most people. You faced that whole situation without lashing out, without breaking down. That's not easy. Maya felt her cheeks flush, both humbled and comforted by his words. She'd never had anyone notice her resilience before, and hearing it from Daniel, a stranger, meant more than she could express. As they neared her apartment, Daniel slowed the car, and Maya felt a pang of reluctance to leave the warmth of his company. She knew their interaction was fleeting, just a chance encounter that would likely fade into memory, but she held on to the moment, letting it reassure her. They pulled up to the curb outside her building, and Maya turned to him, grateful for the ride, the kindness, and the reminder that there were still people who cared. Thank you, Daniel. Really, thank you for everything. Daniel met her gaze, a small, gentle smile playing on his lips. Any time, Maya. And remember, no one gets to define your worth. Not a bus driver, not anyone. The words stayed with her as she stepped out of the car, waving goodbye. She watched him drive away, a bittersweet feeling settling over her. Life had shown her many kinds of people, but she'd never expected kindness to come from a stranger on a rainy day. As she climbed the stairs to her apartment, she clung to his words like a lifeline, a promise that someday she'd find her way forward without the weight of others' judgments pulling her back. The evening air was cool and damp as Daniel pulled up to the curb in front of Maya's apartment building, a modest complex tucked away on a quieter street. The gentle patter of rain had softened, but the clouds still hung low, casting a grey hue over the neighbourhood. Daniel turned off the engine, the silence amplifying the sense of finality that lingered between them. He glanced at Maya, noticing her shoulders tense, her eyes distant as if she was already bracing herself for the world outside his car. Thank you again, she said softly, gathering her bag from the floor of the passenger seat. Her gaze lingered on him briefly, a mixture of gratitude and vulnerability passing across her features. For a moment, it seemed as though she wanted to say something more, something that might capture the weight of what his small act of kindness had meant to her. But instead she simply nodded, her lips forming a faint, almost wistful smile. Daniel returned her smile sensing her discomfort but wishing he could offer her more reassurance. Any time, Maya. Really. I'm just glad I could help. With a slight nod, Maya opened the door, stepping out onto the wet pavement. The night air was crisp, wrapping around her as she shut the car door behind her, feeling the separation like a gentle tug at her heart. She felt self-conscious, her vulnerability exposed, and with one final glance back, she hurried toward the entrance of her building, clutching her bag like it was a shield. As she disappeared inside, Daniel remained in the car, staring after her until the apartment door clicked shut. A flicker of concern lingered in his mind, a sense of incompletion. He'd only known her for a short time, but something about her quiet strength, the way she carried herself despite the weight of the day, struck him deeply. The world had worn her down, Yet there was resilience in her gaze that refused to be extinguished. He sat there for a few moments longer, wondering if their paths would ever cross again. Inside her apartment, Maya slipped off her damp shoes and coat, placing them by the door with a sigh. 
Her small living space was sparse but organized, a few framed photos on the wall, her modest bookshelf lined with well-worn novels. She sank into her worn sofa, allowing herself to finally breathe deeply, the emotions of the day settling into her like pebbles at the bottom of a stream. As the minutes ticked by, Maya's thoughts drifted back to Daniel, to his unexpected kindness that felt like a balm over the humiliation she'd experienced. She recalled the driver's cold dismissal, the weight of judgment pressing on her shoulders. She had felt alone in that moment, isolated by the silent agreement of the strangers around her, who did nothing to intervene. But then there was Daniel, Daniel who had seen her pain and refused to ignore it. She thought back to the ease in his words, the gentleness in his gaze as he reassured her that her worth wasn't defined by anyone's cruelty. Those words lingered in her mind, soothing the ache left by the encounter on the bus. She clung to them, repeating them softly to herself, as if they might somehow fortify her for what lay ahead. No one gets to define your worth. Maya leaned back, closing her eyes and letting those words settle within her. She'd spent so much of her life battling against preconceived notions, navigating spaces where she felt out of place or invisible. But Daniel's words had reminded her that she didn't have to bear that weight alone, that there were people willing to see her truly see her, even when the world around her seemed indifferent. For a moment, she wondered if she'd see him again, this stranger who had stepped into her life so unexpectedly. She could still hear his voice, gentle yet assured, and she found herself hoping, however faintly, that their encounter wasn't the last. Days turned into weeks, and life resumed its usual rhythm for both Maya and Daniel. She threw herself back into her job search, each rejection letter weighing on her. But she held on to Daniel's words, using them as fuel to push forward. Every day brought a fresh wave of challenges, but she carried a little more strength within her, a resolve that had been sparked by a single act of kindness. Meanwhile, Daniel continued with his own routine, his days filled with the responsibilities of his job, social commitments and occasional volunteer work. But every so often he found his thoughts drifting back to Maya. He'd wonder how she was, if she'd found the job she was searching for or if she was okay. She had left such a strong impression on him, her quiet dignity, the way she held her emotions close, her resilience that had refused to crumble despite the hurt she'd experienced. Sometimes he would find himself scanning faces in a crowd, hoping to catch a glimpse of her, wondering if fate would let their paths cross again. But days continued to pass, and the memory of their encounter began to fade into the background of his life, becoming something distant yet precious, like a well-read page in a favorite book. For Maya, the weeks rolled into months, and despite the struggles, her persistence finally bore fruit. She found a position as an assistant at a non-profit organization focused on supporting underserved communities, a cause she felt deeply connected to. The job wasn't glamorous, nor was it well paid, but it gave her a sense of purpose and belonging that had eluded her for so long. She threw herself into the work, using her days to help others navigate the same struggles she had faced. But in quiet moments, she would still think of Daniel, and the kindness that had pulled her back from despair on a rainy evening. She wondered if he remembered her, or if he too had moved on. The memory became a cherished part of her story, a reminder of her resilience and the impact of unexpected kindness. As life moved forward, both Maya and Daniel carried the memory of their brief encounter, each in their own way. The world was vast, and they were only two people, separated by the routines of daily life. But the impression they'd left on each other remained, a quiet, enduring connection that lingered beneath the surface of their thoughts. One evening, after another fulfilling but exhausting day at the non-profit, Maya sat by her window, watching the city lights flicker against the darkening sky. She thought about the journey she'd been on since that rainy evening, about how she'd grown and the resilience she had discovered within herself. Daniel's kindness had been a catalyst, a moment that reminded her of her worth and helped her find the strength to keep going. And Daniel, somewhere across the city, sat in a coffee shop after an evening of volunteering, reflecting on his own path. In the quiet of that moment, he found himself thinking of her, of her quiet strength, her resilience, and the feeling of purpose she had unknowingly ignited within him. They were worlds apart, each pursuing their dreams, each carrying on with life's demands. 
Yet unbeknownst to them, the connection they had shared remained, like a faint pulse under the surface, waiting for the right moment to bring them back together. And though they didn't know it yet, their paths would cross again. Maya Evans hurried down the street, the crisp city air filling her lungs as she held a notebook to her chest, careful not to spill her coffee. It had been almost a year since she'd last seen him, Daniel Hayes, the man whose kindness on a rainy evening had left a lasting mark on her. Since then, her life had shifted in ways she couldn't have imagined. Her position at a non-profit had given her not only a stable job, but a profound sense of purpose, and each day brought its own mix of challenges and triumphs. She felt as though she was finally in a place where she could start to make a difference, helping those who had faced the same obstacles she knew all too well. As Maya entered a small cafe around the corner from her office, she inhaled the comforting scent of freshly ground coffee and warm pastries. She scanned the room for a quiet spot near the window, her mind already turning to the tasks waiting for her that afternoon. But then her gaze froze, heart skipping a beat as she recognized a familiar profile seated by the window, sipping from a coffee cup and immersed in a book. It was him, Daniel. Her heart raced with equal parts excitement and nerves. She hesitated, wondering if he would even remember her after all this time, or if she was merely a passing memory to him. But the pull to say something was stronger than her doubts. She steadied her breath, straightened her shoulders, and walked over to his table, her voice gentle but steady. Daniel? He looked up, his eyes widening slightly before a warm, easy smile spread across his face. Maya. He closed his book and rose to greet her, the genuine warmth in his expression dispelling any lingering insecurities she had. I can't believe it. What are the chances? They both laughed, the sound filling the small space between them as they exchanged quick stories of how their paths had brought them back to this very spot. Daniel invited her to sit, and before they knew it, an easy rhythm of conversation began to unfold, as if the time between their last meeting had only been a blink. So, he said, leaning forward, tell me what you've been up to. I remember you were in between things last time we met. Maya nodded, her face brightening. I'm actually working as an assistant at a non-profit now, she explained, her voice filled with pride. We focus on helping young people from underserved communities get access to education, mentorship, all sorts of resources. It's been challenging, but I finally feel like I'm doing something meaningful. Daniel's smile widened and he nodded appreciatively. That's incredible, Maya. I can see it suits you. You look happy. The simplicity of his words stirred something deep within her, reminding her of how far she had come since that rainy evening. She felt a swell of gratitude, realizing how much his encouragement had meant in that pivotal moment. Thank you, Daniel. I actually don't know if I ever properly thanked you for that day. It meant more than I think I can put into words. He looked down with a modest smile, his fingers tracing the rim of his coffee cup. Honestly, I'm just glad I was there. Seeing you now, I can tell that everything you've worked for has paid off. They both fell into a comfortable silence, sipping their coffees as the hum of the cafe surrounded them. Daniel looked back up, his gaze soft but intrigued. You know, I've actually been doing some volunteering myself lately, he said as though inspired by some newfound purpose. I work with a few local groups focused on community support and education. It's not a full-time thing, of course, but... I wanted to start giving back in a way that felt meaningful. The passion in his voice resonated with Maya, and she found herself nodding along, deeply moved by their shared values. That's amazing, Daniel. It's not often that you meet people who care enough to really invest their time in helping others. A spark of connection flared between them, a bond of mutual respect and shared purpose, and they both seemed to sense it. Their laughter and easy conversation filled the next several minutes, bridging the months they'd spent apart. Maya found herself captivated not only by his dedication, but by the calm yet steadfast way he carried himself, as though his purpose had taken root as deeply as hers. As the conversation wound down, Maya realized she didn't want this encounter to end. With a slight breath of courage, she spoke up, feeling a nervous thrill at the prospect of inviting him into her world. We're actually hosting a community event at the non-profit next week, she said, carefully watching his expression. It's for the youth in the area, a celebration of the work we've done so far, but also a way to bring more people into the cause. I'd love it if you could come. 
I think, I think you'd really enjoy it. A genuine smile spread across Daniel's face as he met her gaze. I'd be honored to come. I wouldn't miss it. The warmth in his voice settled into her, and for a moment she let herself revel in the feeling of being seen and understood in a way that went beyond simple friendship. They lingered in the cafe for a few more minutes, exchanging stories, laughing at shared observations, until the clock reminded them both of the obligations waiting outside. As they gathered their belongings, Maya felt a flicker of anticipation about seeing him again. She walked with him to the door, sharing one last laugh as they promised to meet up at the event. The sense of joy that lingered as she watched him walk away was unexpected, as though a quiet part of her heart had awakened to something new. The following week, the community event bustled with energy as families and young people filled the space, mingling among the food stands and activity tables set up by Maya's team. She darted between stations, her face glowing with excitement as she helped set up, grateful for the sense of belonging and fulfillment this work provided. But even amidst the excitement, her thoughts drifted to Daniel, and she found herself scanning the crowd every now and then, hoping to spot his familiar face. Then she saw him, dressed casually yet put together, his gaze searching the room until it landed on her. His face broke into a smile as he approached, and she felt a surge of relief and joy at seeing him again. The noise of the crowd seemed to fade as they exchanged greetings, the natural ease of their connection immediately rekindling. This is amazing, Maya, he said, his eyes wide with appreciation as he looked around. You and your team have done something really special here. Maya smiled, her pride and excitement spilling over as she explained the significance of the event, sharing stories of the kids they had helped the successes they'd witnessed, and the challenges they had overcome. Daniel listened intently, captivated by her dedication and passion, and in those moments, Maya felt a surge of mutual admiration and understanding that went beyond words. They spent the evening talking, sharing stories and exchanging ideas, the spark between them growing stronger with each passing moment. By the end of the event, they stood side by side, watching the families begin to leave, the air heavy with a quiet, shared contentment. As the evening wound down, Daniel turned to her, a gentle look in his eyes. Thank you for inviting me, Maya. This is... it's incredible. I can see how much it means to you, and I'm honored to be a part of it, even just for a night. Maya looked up at him, a warmth spreading through her chest as she held his gaze. Thank you for coming, Daniel. It means more than you know. In that moment, Something subtle but undeniable passed between them, an understanding that transcended the shared purpose of the evening. The walls they'd each built to protect their hearts felt less necessary, as though their connection had quietly yet unmistakably bridged the gap between friendship and something deeper. As they said their goodbyes, Maya found herself hopeful, a quiet joy lingering in her heart as she walked home. The man she had met on a rainy evening almost a year ago was no longer just a memory. He was here, stepping into her life once more, perhaps as more than just a friend. And in that quiet certainty, Maya allowed herself to imagine what might lie ahead, embracing the promise of something beautiful and unknown. The community center buzzed with life, the sounds of laughter and conversation filling the air. Tables were covered in vibrant decorations, and colorful posters adorned the walls, each one representing the efforts Maya's team had poured into uplifting the youth in their community. The event, designed to celebrate the accomplishments of the center's programs and raise awareness, was already a success, with families and supporters filling every corner of the room. Daniel walked in and immediately spotted Maya at the front of the room, chatting animatedly with a group of teenagers. She radiated energy and warmth, her laughter rising above the surrounding noise. He felt a deep admiration for her dedication. It was rare to see someone so committed to a cause. Watching her, he could tell this wasn't just a job for her. It was a calling. Maya turned, spotting Daniel in the crowd, and her face lit up with a wide smile. She waved him over, and he made his way through the bustling crowd toward her. Daniel, you made it, she said warmly, a spark of excitement in her eyes. Of course, he replied, smiling back. Thank you for inviting me. This is amazing, Maya. Really, you and your team have done something incredible here. Maya's cheeks flushed with pride. 
Thank you. It's been a lot of work, but seeing everyone here, seeing the kids feel valued, it makes it all worth it. Just then, one of Maya's young mentees, a girl named Lila, ran up and tugged on her arm. Miss Maya, come look at our display. I want to show it to Mr. Daniel, too. Maya glanced at Daniel with a smile and nodded. Lead the way, Lila. Lila proudly led them to a table lined with photographs and artwork, projects created by the kids throughout the year. As Daniel studied the images and drawings, he felt the weight of each story behind them. Some depicted simple scenes, others were more complex, a mix of joy and struggle. He could see how much these programs meant to the kids. After taking in the display, Daniel and Maya moved to a quieter corner of the room, where the sounds of the event grew softer. They found themselves in comfortable conversation, and soon Daniel began to open up about his own past, sharing parts of his life that he hadn't talked about in years. I've never really told anyone this, but growing up wasn't exactly easy for me either, he started, his voice low but steady. My family went through some rough times when I was younger. My dad lost his job when I was in middle school, and we had to move around a lot, always trying to find stability. For a long time I felt lost, I guess. Maya listened intently, her gaze softening as she took in his words. She sensed how difficult it was for him to share something so personal, and she respected the trust he was placing in her. I think that's partly why I feel drawn to what you're doing here, he continued, glancing around at the bustling event. I know what it's like to feel like the odds are stacked against you, and I can see how much you're giving these kids a chance to be seen, to be heard. It's... It's inspiring, Maya. Touched by his words, Maya felt a deep connection forming between them. She hadn't expected this, Daniel's willingness to be open, to share his own struggles. She knew she had only seen the surface of who he was before, but tonight she was beginning to understand the depth of his empathy and resilience. Thank you for sharing that with me, Daniel, she said softly. I know it's not easy to talk about things like that, but I think it explains a lot. You know why you care so much. He smiled, looking down for a moment as though collecting his thoughts. I guess it's also why I feel like I belong here tonight, with you. This kind of work, this community you've built, it reminds me of how much we all need each other, even if we sometimes forget that. They both fell silent, the weight of their conversation hanging between them like an unspoken understanding. The noise of the event faded into the background, leaving only the sense of closeness they shared. Maya felt herself wanting to open up in return, to let him see the parts of herself that she usually kept hidden. But for now, she simply took comfort in knowing that he understood her in ways most people didn't. As the evening came to a close, Daniel helped Maya and her team clean up, chatting and laughing as they put away decorations and cleared tables. The casual camaraderie they shared only deepened the bond growing between them, and by the time they finished, Maya felt an undeniable sense of connection. Would you like to walk for a bit? Daniel asked as they stepped outside into the cool evening air. Maya nodded, smiling as they started down the quiet street together. They strolled along in comfortable silence, watching the streetlights cast soft halos in the night. After a few blocks, Daniel broke the silence. You know... You're one of the strongest people I've met in a long time, he said quietly, his gaze focused on her. Not just because of what you do here, but because of everything you've had to overcome to get here. It's really inspiring, Maya. Maya felt her cheeks flush, both humbled and deeply moved. I don't think I'm that strong, she replied. I'm just doing what I can. Some days it feels like enough, but other days... She trailed off her voice barely a whisper. It's hard. Sometimes it feels like the challenges just keep coming, no matter how much you try. Daniel nodded, his gaze steady and compassionate. I think you're stronger than you realize, he said softly, and I'm glad I had the chance to see that tonight. They paused, standing under the dim glow of a street lamp. Maya looked up at him, her heart beating faster as his words sank in. She felt deeply seen, in a way that felt both exhilarating and terrifying. Their eyes met, and she sensed a quiet understanding pass between them, an unspoken promise of the bond they were forming. After a moment, she reached into her purse and pulled out her phone. We should keep in touch, she said, a shy smile breaking through her serious expression. 
You know, in case there's ever another community event or, I don't know, if you're looking for a volunteer opportunity. Daniel chuckled, his smile brightening. I'd like that. Here, let's exchange numbers. They exchanged contact information, and as they saved each other's numbers, Maya felt a rush of excitement and a sense of something beautiful beginning. She couldn't remember the last time she felt this comfortable around someone, this sense of shared purpose and understanding. As they walked back to her apartment, the conversation remained light, but the connection between them lingered, deepened by the stories they had shared and the vulnerability they had allowed themselves to show. When they finally reached her doorstep, they shared a warm, lingering goodbye. Thank you, Daniel, she said, her voice filled with gratitude. For tonight, for, well, everything. I didn't realize how much I needed someone like you in my life. Daniel's gaze softened as he took her hand for a brief moment. Any time, Maya, I mean it. With a final smile, she stepped inside, watching him disappear down the street through the window. Her heart felt light yet full, filled with a quiet certainty that she had found something rare, something worth holding on to. As the days went by, Maya and Daniel began texting regularly, sharing small moments and updates about their lives. They discussed their dreams, frustrations, and the little victories that made the difficult work worthwhile. With each conversation, their connection grew, and Maya found herself looking forward to each new message, each shared moment. Slowly but surely, Daniel became a constant presence in her life, a friend, a confidant, and perhaps just maybe something more. And in the quiet spaces of their growing friendship, Maya felt a spark of hope that perhaps after everything, she was finally beginning to find her way toward happiness and love. The weeks turned into months, and Maya and Daniel found themselves falling into a steady rhythm, meeting frequently for coffee or dinner, or sometimes just a walk through the city. With each encounter, their conversations grew deeper, revealing layers of who they were, layers they had kept hidden from the rest of the world. Maya felt herself changing in ways she hadn't expected. Her job at the non-profit, once a place of refuge, now felt like a platform where she could truly shine. She found herself speaking up more in meetings, leading initiatives with a newfound confidence. And whenever doubt crept in, Daniel's voice was there in the back of her mind, reminding her of her strength. One afternoon, while having lunch together at a small cafe, Maya opened up about her latest project at work. We're organizing a mentorship program for high school students from low-income backgrounds, she said, her eyes sparkling with excitement. It's the first time I'm actually leading a project this big. I was terrified at first, but... She paused, glancing at Daniel with a shy smile. You know, I kept thinking about what you said, that I have something important to share. I guess I'm starting to believe it. Daniel smiled, his eyes full of pride. I never had any doubt, Maya. You're doing amazing things, and those kids, having you in their corner is probably changing their lives. She blushed, feeling a warmth settle over her. It wasn't just the words he said, but the way he looked at her, as if he saw her potential even when she couldn't. Thank you, she said quietly, for believing in me. They both fell silent, the unspoken emotions hanging in the air. She could feel her heartbeat quicken under his steady gaze, and for a moment, she wondered if he felt the same. But just as quickly as it came, the thought was pushed aside. There was a comfort in their friendship that she didn't want to risk losing, even if her heart seemed to whisper otherwise. Meanwhile, Daniel found himself inspired by Maya in ways he hadn't anticipated. Seeing her passion and dedication made him question the course of his own life. While his work in finance was stable and predictable, it lacked a sense of purpose that he now craved. The stories Maya shared about the struggles and triumphs of her community struck a chord within him, awakening a desire to make a difference. One evening he confided in Maya about his inner conflict. They were sitting on a park bench, the fading sunlight casting a warm glow around them. I feel like I've been coasting through life, Daniel admitted, staring out at the people passing by. My job, it's safe, you know, comfortable, but after meeting you, seeing the impact you're making, I don't know. I just feel like I'm meant to do more. Maya looked at him thoughtfully. You don't have to change everything all at once. Sometimes the smallest steps can lead to the biggest changes. Daniel nodded, considering her words. 
Inspired, he began volunteering at a local youth centre in his spare time, working with teens who needed tutoring in math and financial literacy. The work felt both challenging and rewarding, and it brought a new energy into his life. Through it all, Maya was there, cheering him on, encouraging him, and sharing her own insights. In turn, Maya's confidence blossomed further under Daniel's support. With each project she completed, each small victory, she found herself growing stronger, more certain of her worth. And each time she felt that sense of accomplishment, Daniel's voice echoed in her mind, a gentle reminder that she was capable and deserving of every success. As winter settled over the city, Daniel invited Maya to his apartment for dinner. He had wanted to do something special, something that would allow them to enjoy a quiet evening together without the usual hustle and bustle of the city. When Maya arrived, she was struck by the warm, inviting atmosphere he had created. Soft music played in the background, and the aroma of freshly cooked pasta filled the air. They laughed and chatted over the meal, sharing stories and memories. For the first time, Daniel shared more personal details about his family, his childhood, and the challenges he'd faced growing up. He spoke of the uncertainty that had coloured his early years, how he had buried his struggles beneath a calm exterior and focused on building a secure life. But as he looked across the table at Maya, he realised that his life was now more than just his own. It was entwined with something greater. Meeting you has changed a lot for me, Daniel said, his voice soft as he set down his fork. It's like you've made me see things differently, things I'd never even questioned before. Maya looked at him, her heart pounding. She had never expected that she would impact someone like him so deeply. In her mind, she was still just an ordinary woman trying to make it through each day. But Daniel made her feel extraordinary, special in a way that was both thrilling and terrifying. You've changed things for me too, Daniel, she admitted, her voice barely above a whisper. More than you know. They locked eyes, and in that moment, Maya felt the full weight of her feelings for him. She wanted to tell him how he had inspired her, how his belief in her had become a lifeline, a source of strength she had never known she needed. But the words seemed too heavy, too loaded with emotion, so she simply held his gaze, hoping he could see the truth in her eyes. The evening ended with a quiet embrace at her doorstep. She felt his warmth, his steady heartbeat, and for a brief moment, she allowed herself to imagine what it would be like to hold on to him longer, to let go of the fear and step into the unknown. In the weeks that followed, their connection only grew stronger. They became each other's confidants, their shared dreams and fears binding them together in a way that felt almost fated. But despite the closeness they shared, there remained a layer of unspoken emotion, a silent understanding that hovered just beyond reach. One evening, after a particularly long day at work, Maya texted Daniel, asking if he wanted to meet at their favourite café. They spent hours talking as usual, but this time the conversation took a more vulnerable turn. Daniel confessed his frustration with the limitations he faced in his work and his volunteering, wishing he could do more, be more. You are more, Maya said, her tone firm but gentle. You've already done so much, Daniel. For me, for those kids you're tutoring, even if you don't see it, you're making a difference. Daniel looked at her, the intensity of his gaze making her feel as though they were the only two people in the room. It's funny, he said slowly, how sometimes it takes someone else to show you who you really are. In that moment, Maya felt a surge of courage she hadn't known she possessed. Daniel, you make me feel like I matter, like I'm worth something, she whispered, her voice trembling. No one has ever made me feel that way before. Daniel reached across the table, his hand covering hers in a gentle, reassuring grasp. You are worth everything, Maya, he said softly, his eyes filled with a tenderness that took her breath away. I'm grateful every day that I met you. The attraction between them, once subtle and hidden, now seemed to hum in the air around them. Their hands lingered together, neither of them wanting to break the contact. Maya's heart raced, her mind a blur of emotions. She had spent so long hiding behind walls, afraid to let anyone see her vulnerability, yet with Daniel, she felt as though she was finally becoming her truest self. In that silent moment, they both knew that something fundamental had shifted. 
There were no grand declarations, no promises made, but in their shared gaze they could see the beginning of something real, something worth fighting for. As they walked out into the chilly night air, the city lights sparkling around them, Maya felt a sense of calm settle over her. For the first time in a long time, she allowed herself to believe in the possibility of happiness, of love, and of a future where she could truly be seen. That night marked a turning point in their relationship. From then on, their connection deepened with each passing day, each shared moment building on the last. They didn't rush or force anything, instead, they let their bond grow naturally, one step at a time. Together they were stronger than they had ever been alone, their lives forever changed by the growth and revelations they had shared. And though neither of them spoke the words yet, they both knew this was just the beginning of something beautiful, something lasting. The evening had begun simply enough, just another dinner at Daniel's place. Maya had arrived with her usual smile, bringing a homemade dessert, and they'd settled into a comfortable rhythm, chatting and laughing. They spoke about work, their latest projects, and even swapped a few silly stories from their childhoods. The atmosphere felt light-hearted, but there was an underlying tension, an unspoken understanding, that lingered between them. For the past few weeks they had been towing the line between friendship and something more, each of them aware of the pull yet hesitating to name it. As the evening drew on, they found themselves in the living room, sitting on the couch with mugs of tea. The room was warm and quiet, and Maya felt a strange sense of intimacy settle over her as she glanced over at Daniel. She noticed the way he looked at her, thoughtful, almost as if he was searching for something in her eyes. Maya, Daniel began softly, breaking the silence. He put his mug down and took a deep breath. I've been wanting to tell you something, something that's been on my mind for a while now. Maya felt her heart skip a beat. She knew, even before he spoke, what he was about to say. She had sensed it in the way he looked at her, in the little gestures that had grown more frequent, the way his hand lingered on her shoulder, the way he reached for her when she laughed. Still, hearing him say it out loud was different. It made the whole thing real in a way that felt exhilarating and terrifying all at once. I like you, Maya, more than just as a friend. His voice was steady but she could see the vulnerability in his eyes, a quiet plea for her to understand what this meant. I want us to be something more. I know this might be unexpected, and I don't want to pressure you, but I need you to know how I feel. Maya's breath caught in her throat, her mind racing. She felt a rush of warmth spread through her chest, filling her with both joy and trepidation. She had thought about this moment countless times, imagining how it would feel if he finally confessed. And yet, now that it was happening, she didn't know how to respond. Her heart ached with the truth of her own feelings, feelings she'd buried deep, afraid of what they could mean. Daniel, she whispered, trying to find the right words. I, I have feelings for you too. I have for a while now. She felt herself tremble and she tried to smile, but it faltered. But there are things, things I'm scared of. Daniel reached for her hand his touch gentle and reassuring. You don't have to be scared with me, Maya. Whatever it is, we can face it together. She looked down, her fingers tightening around his. The joy she felt at his touch was undeniable, but the fear crept in, insistent and unyielding. I'm scared of what people will think, how they'll look at us, you know, because we're different. She hesitated, feeling the weight of her words press down on her. You're a white man, and I'm a black woman and that still means something to a lot of people, even now. Her voice grew softer as she continued, the words spilling out of her as if they had been waiting all along. I've had to fight so hard to feel like I belong anywhere, and I'm just... I'm worried that being with you might bring more challenges, challenges I don't know if I'm ready for. Daniel listened, his expression serious yet compassionate. He could feel the gravity of her fears, and he understood even if he couldn't fully grasp the experiences that had shaped them. Maya, I can't pretend to understand everything you've gone through, but I want you to know that I'm here for you no matter what. I care about you deeply, and I would never want to make your life harder. But if being together is what we both want, then I'm willing to face whatever comes our way. She looked at him, his sincerity piercing through her doubts. She could see it in his eyes, the commitment, the unwavering belief that they could make this work. 
and part of her wanted to believe it too. But the fear was still there, an old familiar companion that whispered warnings and reminded her of the scars she carried. I just don't know, Daniel, she admitted, her voice breaking. There are days when I feel like I can conquer the world, and there are days when I feel like I'm barely holding on. I'm scared that if we're together people will judge us, and it'll be you who pays the price for my fears. Daniel reached up, gently brushing a tear from her cheek. Maya, you are worth every challenge, every risk. I don't care what people say and I don't care what we have to face. What matters to me is that we have each other. She felt herself leaning into his touch, the tenderness of his words easing the ache inside her. But the doubts didn't vanish. She could see the risks, the potential for pain and judgment, and yet the thought of walking away felt unbearable. Can I have some time? she whispered, her voice barely audible. I just... I need a little time to sort through all of this. Daniel nodded, his eyes soft with understanding. Of course, Maya, take all the time you need. I'm here, and I'll be waiting. His hand lingered on hers for a moment before he let go, giving her the space she needed. They sat in silence for a while, the warmth between them laced with a hint of uncertainty. But even as the doubts lingered, Maya couldn't deny the way her heart ached for him, the way his presence felt like home. As she left that night, she glanced back, her heart heavy yet hopeful. She knew this decision wouldn't be easy, and she didn't have all the answers. But one thing was certain. Daniel had become someone irreplaceable in her life, someone who made her feel seen and cherished in a way she had never known. The walk home was a blur, her mind a whirlwind of emotions. She knew the risks, and she understood the fears. But in her heart, she also knew that letting go of him now would leave an emptiness she wasn't sure she could fill. For the next few days, Maya threw herself into her work, trying to distract herself from the ache she felt whenever she thought of him. She confided in a close friend, who reminded her that love was never without risks, but that true connection was worth every challenge. As the days went by, she reflected on all the ways Daniel had already proven himself. His kindness, his patience, his commitment to understanding her world, even when it was unfamiliar to him. Slowly, her fears began to loosen their grip, replaced by a cautious hope. She realized that the life she wanted, a life where she was truly seen and accepted, was one she had started building with Daniel. When she finally returned to his apartment a week later, her heart pounding with every step, Daniel met her at the door, his face lighting up with both surprise and hope. Daniel, she began, her voice trembling. I don't have all the answers. I can't promise that I won't get scared or that I won't worry about what people might say. But I know that you make me feel whole, and that scares me more than anything else. And maybe that's a sign that this is worth holding on to. A slow smile spread across his face, his eyes softening as he pulled her into a gentle embrace. Maya, that's all I need to hear. As they held each other, Maya felt a quiet resolve settle over her. She knew they would face challenges, that the road ahead wouldn't be easy. But in his arms she felt safe, and for the first time in a long time, she allowed herself to believe in a future where love could overcome fear. They didn't need words to convey what they felt in that moment. Their embrace was enough. As they stood together in the dim light, Maya knew that whatever came next, they would face it together, bound by a love that was steady and true. The days following her conversation with Daniel were filled with a constant internal tug of war for Maya. She couldn't stop thinking about the possibility of a life with him, the joy he brought, the way he made her feel seen and valued in a world that often felt indifferent or worse. Yet she also couldn't ignore the weight of her fears, rooted in experiences that had shaped her reality. After days of contemplation, Maya decided she couldn't sort through these feelings alone. She reached out to friends who had seen her through countless highs and lows, as well as mentors who offered wisdom earned from lives marked by resilience and hope. She gathered a few of them on a sunny afternoon at her favorite coffee shop, feeling a sense of warmth and safety among them. When Maya opened up about her dilemma, they listened without judgment, allowing her to pour out her concerns, her longing and her doubts. Her closest friend, Jada, reached for her hand across the table. Maya. Jada began, her voice soft yet firm. It sounds like you already know how you feel about Daniel. I get it. 
Society loves to make us question our choices, especially when it comes to something as personal as love. But you're the only one who can decide what's right for you. Are you going to let other people's opinions dictate your happiness? Maya nodded thoughtfully, her gaze falling to her coffee. Another friend, Keisha, chimed in. And remember, the world will always have something to say. But what matters most is that you find someone who respects and cherishes you, and who stands with you through everything. It sounds like Daniel's willing to do just that. One of her mentors, Miss Eliza, who had always spoken with wisdom and clarity, leaned in. Maya, she said, I've watched you grow into a strong, passionate woman. I've seen you take on challenges with courage, and I believe you're capable of choosing what's best for you, even if it's hard. Love isn't always about having the perfect answer. It's about choosing to stand with someone in spite of the questions. The words settled over her like a balm, calming her frayed nerves. Maya realized that her fears, while valid, didn't have to define her path. And for the first time, she began to wonder if facing those fears could be the very thing that set her free. That evening she called Daniel and asked to meet him at a small park, not far from her apartment. Her heart raced as she waited, watching the sun dip below the horizon, casting a soft golden light across the trees. She paced nervously, rehearsing what she wanted to say, but the words felt tangled and incomplete. When Daniel arrived, his familiar, reassuring smile instantly set her at ease. He approached her with a careful optimism in his eyes, as though he sensed the importance of this moment. Taking a deep breath, Maya looked up at him. Daniel, she began, I've spent the past few days thinking, talking to people who know me, who know my journey. And the more I thought about it, the more I realized that... She paused, her voice thick with emotion. I don't want to let fear hold me back. Not anymore. Daniel's expression softened, a look of quiet relief and affection crossing his face. She reached out, taking his hand in hers. I don't know what the future holds, and I can't promise it'll be easy, she continued, her voice steady now. But I know that being with you feels right, and that's something I can't ignore. I want to be with you, Daniel, fully and fearlessly. He held her gaze, and in his eyes she saw not only his love, but also his understanding of what this choice meant for her. Maya, he said, his voice a gentle murmur, I can't tell you how much that means to me. I'll be here, every step of the way, as long as you'll have me. They stood there in silence, a soft breeze rustling the leaves around them. The weight of her decision lifted, replaced by a feeling of warmth and possibility. Slowly, Daniel reached out, brushing a stray strand of hair from her face, his fingers lingering on her cheek. There was a vulnerability in his touch, a sense of reverence that made her heart swell. Without another word, she closed the space between them, tilting her face up to his. He leaned in, their breaths mingling, and then, in that still, golden moment, they shared their first kiss. It was a kiss filled with the weight of unspoken fears and newfound courage, an exchange that was both delicate and powerful. Maya felt her pulse quicken as the world around them faded, leaving just the two of them, wrapped in a quiet certainty that felt both fragile and fierce. She hadn't realized how much she'd been holding back until that moment, and as she let herself fall deeper into the kiss, she felt a wave of emotions she hadn't known she'd been carrying. When they finally pulled apart, Daniel's hand stayed on her cheek, his thumb tracing gentle circles. They stood together in a silence that didn't need filling, their eyes locked, each of them feeling the significance of the choice they'd just made. Thank you for trusting me, Daniel said softly, his eyes shining with emotion. Maya nodded, smiling through the tears that had gathered in her eyes. Thank you for being someone worth trusting. She reached up, resting her hand over his. I don't know what challenges we'll face, but I know that I want to face them with you. They left the park together, hand in hand, feeling as if they had crossed a threshold, stepping into a world that was theirs to shape together. The walk back to her apartment was filled with easy laughter and quiet glances that spoke of a thousand unspoken promises. Each step felt like a promise of its own, a promise to stand by each other, to choose each other every day, despite the world's opinions and obstacles. As they reached her apartment building, Maya turned to him, squeezing his hand. So, are you ready for this? she asked a hint of mischief in her eyes. Daniel chuckled, brushing his thumb over her knuckles. With you, 
I'm ready for anything. And as he leaned in for another kiss, Maya felt her fears dissolve, replaced by a confidence that was rooted not in certainty, but in choice. She knew they would face struggles, and there would be days when the world's opinions weighed heavy on them. But in Daniel's presence, she felt stronger, more grounded, more herself than ever before. Together they stood on the threshold of a future that was unknown and complex but filled with potential. And for the first time, Maya felt ready to embrace it. Not because she had found all the answers, but because she had chosen to move forward in love, even with the questions. In that moment, with the city lights illuminating their faces and the warmth of Daniel's hand in hers, Maya knew she had made the right choice. She had chosen love, not because it was easy, but because it was true. And for the first time, that truth felt like enough. In the weeks that followed Maya and Daniel's decision to be together, they found themselves learning not only about each other, but also about the resilience required to stand by love in a world that often looked for reasons to divide it. They experienced a mixture of reactions from people in their lives. While most of their friends were supportive, there were a few family members and acquaintances who reacted with veiled skepticism or subtle judgment. Questions lingered in some conversations, indirect but pointed, carrying the weight of ingrained biases. The doubt hurt, especially for Maya, who had already faced more than her share of barriers and judgments. Still, the strength and quiet reassurance she saw in Daniel's eyes each time someone questioned their relationship reminded her that she was no longer facing these challenges alone. Over time, the unwavering support of their closest friends provided a foundation on which Maya and Daniel could build their shared life. Jada, Maya's best friend, was a frequent visitor, laughing with them over dinner and talking openly about the struggles they might face. She became a constant source of encouragement, affirming to Maya that true love was always worth fighting for. You know, Jada said one evening over a late-night tea with Maya, I see the way Daniel looks at you. It's as if he's looking at everything good he's ever wanted. And I can see that you're happier than you've ever been. That's what matters. Maya felt herself smile at Jada's words, realizing how deeply true they were. And it was Daniel's belief in her that inspired her to step into her fullest potential. With each passing day, Maya's self-confidence grew, no longer hidden under layers of caution and fear. At work, she became more vocal, advocating for resources and support for the underserved youth she was so passionate about helping. She was finally embracing the role she'd once thought she could never reach, and her inner strength flourished. Seeing this growth in Maya, Daniel found himself drawn to support her in her work. He attended community meetings, volunteered at events, and even began taking part in activism efforts for equal rights. Inspired by Maya's tireless dedication, he became involved in the local community on his own, advocating for policies that benefited those who had been left behind or underserved. It was a commitment he had never envisioned making, but being with Maya had opened his eyes to a reality he couldn't ignore. Together, they were not only a couple but a team, amplifying each other's voices and passions in ways that surprised even themselves. One late afternoon, nearly a year after their first chance meeting at the cafe, Maya and Daniel found themselves preparing for another community event at the non-profit where Maya worked. It was a special gathering celebrating the organization's accomplishments over the past year, and it felt particularly meaningful to both of them. As they walked into the bustling room together, Maya could feel Daniel's hand resting reassuringly on her back, grounding her in the comforting certainty of his presence. The event was filled with people from all walks of life, some of whom Maya recognized and some who were new faces, drawn by the organization's mission and impact. As the evening went on, Maya gave a small speech, her voice steady with conviction, sharing stories about the youth they had helped, the lives they had touched, and the importance of standing together against the odds. She spoke with a new kind of confidence, and when she finished, the room erupted in applause. Maya glanced at Daniel, who smiled back at her with unmistakable pride. Afterward, as they mingled with attendees, Daniel found himself deep in conversation with some of the youth Maya had mentored. They shared stories of struggle, hope, and resilience, and he listened, offering genuine support and encouragement. In those moments, Maya realized how much Daniel had grown alongside her. He had stepped beyond the role of a supportive partner and had become someone who actively believed in and fought for the same values that drove her. 
she felt an overwhelming sense of gratitude for the person he had chosen to become, not just for her, but for everyone he encountered. As the evening wound down, they found a quiet corner to reflect on the journey that had brought them here. They stood hand in hand, watching the people around them laughing, connecting and celebrating a cause they both held close to their hearts. Can you believe we're here? Daniel murmured, glancing at Maya. This whole journey started with a rainy day and a missed bus. It's almost unbelievable. Maya smiled, her eyes filled with emotion. I know, and it's incredible how far we've come. I never thought that something as simple as an act of kindness could change my life this much. You. You've changed my life, Daniel. He tightened his hold on her hand, his voice soft but filled with conviction. Maya, being with you has changed everything for me. You taught me the importance of standing up for what's right, of not just watching from the sidelines. Loving you made me realize I wanted to be part of something bigger, something meaningful. They stood there in comfortable silence, surrounded by the warmth of the community they had built together. And in that moment, Maya felt a sense of peace that she hadn't known before. She understood that they would face future challenges, but she also knew that they would face them together. Eventually, the evening began winding down, and as people slowly made their way out, Maya and Daniel remained, standing close and watching the city lights flicker outside the window. There was a gentle quiet between them, a shared understanding that didn't require words. Thank you for being my partner in all of this, Maya whispered, resting her head on his shoulder. Daniel wrapped his arm around her, pulling her close. Always, he replied, his voice a soft promise, no matter what comes our way. They both knew that the road ahead wouldn't be without its struggles, that life's challenges would sometimes feel heavier than their love could bear. But in that moment, with the weight of their journey behind them and a bright future ahead, they were at peace. As they finally left the event, stepping out into the crisp night air, Maya took a deep breath, feeling the coolness of the evening wash over her. She looked up at Daniel, who gave her a look filled with both laughter and love. Together they walked down the city street, their fingers intertwined, sharing a comfortable silence. The city lights twinkled around them like quiet witnesses to their journey, illuminating their path as they moved forward, side by side. Maya realized that no matter what awaited them, they had each other. And that was enough. In the glow of the streetlights, they could see a future that was still unwritten, filled with both challenges and triumphs. And as they continued down the sidewalk, laughter ringing in the night air, they knew that whatever obstacles they faced, they would face them together, unshaken against all odds.